So I wanted to ask you, what was your initial reaction when you found out that Jennifer Hudson was going to play your mom in the film and then Common's your dad? Because I can't like uh, imagine a cooler pairing than that. Um, It was really exciting. And I got to talk to Jennifer before I got to talk to really anyone other than Stefan. And we got on FaceTime. And I like before she called me, I felt like I was getting ready for like a virtual date because I got up, I got out of my bed, I like fixed my clothes, fixed my hair. And I was like, okay, I look okay. And then I got on the phone with her and she was the sweetest thing on earth. And I kind of melted a little bit. The starstruck kind of faded away, but not completely. We had a short little conversation. And then after that, we got on like Zoom calls. And that's when I finally got to talk to Common. And it was just interesting to see all of us together on a Zoom because me and Stefan, really everybody, we were trying to see if it worked. So we were all like staring at the Zoom like, okay, yeah. Okay, this looks like a little happy family. Okay, it's working. <laughs> and then we got on set and I spent a lot of time with Jennifer in the scenes that we had with Common to be able to, I mean, the living room that we were in, like the dining room made it feel family and like homey kind of because it was a bunker, but we definitely fell into the characters and a family dynamic that was so cute. I loved it. Yeah, one of the aspects that really impressed me was that mother-daughter connection that you and Jennifer have in the film. How Because you can tell that there's this deep care for there, but there's also parts where, you know, they're trapped alone together. Like, you're getting on our nerves occasionally. You can you can see that in the film. It's a very fun dynamic. How was that building that with uh, Jennifer? Um, I mean, because we spent so much time together, it was not that we had those issues, but it was just like fun to play around with. It was fun to like fake act like we were fighting in between scenes to keep the energy up and keep the energy going and having banter and just like improving lines and just randomly like we all loved a good random cuss word on set like we all liked a random like f-bomb here and there and it was just like so much fun all the time there was never a dull moment there was never even in the emotional vulnerable scenes there was still some laughter some joy on set that I love to have so much I love that. And one aspect of this film that really stood out was Sam Worthington's performance, because usually he's playing like kind of a stoic, reserved character. And he's very intense in this. He's very he's really going for it. It's a really fun performance from him. What stood out about working opposite him, especially during those, those big, very intense freak out scenes that he has? I mean, he was very much method. Like when I first met him we didn't really speak a lot and I was kind of confused until I got on set with him I was like okay I get it and then we had like small talk and once I understood his boundary and like where he was as the character and where his craft was I was like okay I get it cool um but the scenes that me and him had together were so intense and so it was probably some of my favorite scenes also because he challenged me to get there with him. He challenged me and pushed me to match his energy and how intense he was in his scenes and how intense he was in the moment. I had to match it. I had to make it make sense. And I loved that. Like I loved working with him. He was so much fun, even though it was intense on and off camera. I loved it. It was like, you never knew what was coming with him on set. That's really cool. And and one thing we get to see here, I don't know if you've done a ton of this in, in your career so far, is you get into a bit of a fight with uh, Raul Castillo, who plays Micah. How is filming that back and forth and, you know, getting to show some, some action, some fight choreography? It was interesting. I kind of wish that I could have been more involved in my stunts. I've always said that I wanted to do a movie where I did all of my own stunts. Um, so I wanted to, like, get in there. But then I saw the stunt people do, and I was like, actually, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I don't. You got it. Like, you can do it. That's great. I love it. I, I love to watch you do this. This is so much fun. Um, but playing it out, I've never done that before, where you kind of work with stunt people, and you got pads and butt pads and hip pads and elbow pads. I don't know. It was It was fun to be able to be in that position 
and to be in that position with like an enemy character i've never really had that before so it was i don't know exciting and thrilling yeah you're you're in an interesting part of your career because it's crazy to think of because of your age but you've been doing this for over a decade now and now you're you're getting to play different types of roles getting to you know explore different genres uh, how do you kind of feel right now because you know you you have like so much work behind you but you know you're also evolving and still you know mastering this craft so how, how, how has it been kind of navigating this space like you said I'm still evolving so every time I start a new project it feels like I'm starting from the very beginning it feels like like for breathe probably like the complete beginning of everything because I've never done anything like it is a whole new thing for me I just turned 18 two years ago so I just started being able to work longer hours everything every stage that I've gone through in my life it's always been something new it's always been a new beginning a new chapter so I don't know I, I'm always evolving I'm always growing um, and that's what makes it exciting for me and I was curious because you spend uh, you know a, a decent chunk of this film tied up how is it acting when you're limited with your movement? How, how is it kind of dealing with that? It was interesting. We had this scene where I needed to figure out how to get the mask or the mic that was in the mask to my face without my hands. And so we spent like a good 30 minutes of me playing with the mask with my feet and trying to pick the mask up with my feet and roll it over and like nudge it. It was it was something I've never thought of doing before. And some of the scenes, I didn't even have them like completely tied because, ow. Um, but that's what made it even challenging because I knew I could use my hands. They were right behind me and they weren't tied up completely. But I had to use my legs and my feet and my toes and like trying to reach stuff. And I don't know, it was exciting. And thought for provoking to try to figure out how to do something that I could definitely do with my hands but yeah that's such a unique predicament uh, you, you only find this and, and my last question for you it, it's hard to believe I couldn't believe this when I was looking it up but Annie is 10 years old uh later this year uh, how do you kind of just reflect on that film and uh, you know it's such a fun movie and uh, to see it just reach this milestone of 10 years uh, how do you kind of reflect on that Anytime I'm like cleaning my house or I'm doing something chore related, I start singing It's a Hard Knock Life or I bring it up or I reference it. And I do that with a lot of the movies that I've done when I was younger in the previous years. So when it hits the 10 year mark, I don't know, it makes me feel old in a weird sense. Like 10 years is insane. I started the award show stuff when I was 10. So I, it's just mind blowing to even be to this point right now. Um, but it makes me grateful and thankful that I am at this point right now and that I'm still growing and evolving and doing new roles. How Annie was new for me 10 years ago, <laughs> Breathe is new for me now. Who knows where I'll be in 10 years.